Hello guys, this is my uh, first YouTube video and I'm going to be showing you how to work with Logic's environment. Uh, big ups to SF Logic Ninja who's taught me a lot of stuff and big ups to Fabrizio GG. Ciao, como stai? Yo sono di Florida. Alright. This is how we work with Logic's environment. This looks really scary, so I'm just going to go back to the arrange window so you guys don't get intimidated. Alright, so I got this song I've made. This song right here, and what I did is I sent the outputs, instead of being output 1 and 2, I changed it to bus 3. Bus 3 is a channel strip that I'm going to show you in a minute, but what this does is it gives me full control over the sounds that are coming out of my computer. All right. This is the environment. This is something I set up. What you're going to do is you're going to go here, create and create layer. You create the layer. You can name it whatever you want. Mine's echo and pass. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a new instrument. You're going to make a new fader. You're going to make two monitors. You're going to create five transformers. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and a sequ sequencer input. So this is the in instrument, this is the fader, this is the monitor, these are my five transformers, this is my channel strip that is bus 3. This is my monitor, and then this is all connecting to my sequencer input, which you don't see here. This channel strip, I've made an echo and a channel EQ, and a limiter to protect the sound. All right. So here we go. I'm going to open up the channel EQ. I'm going to open up the echo. Now what I noticed Fabrizio did is he had the Q setting on the channel EQ. First he turned this on. And he turned the Q to 2.3, which is at the bottom. Then what we're controlling is the frequency. Okay? And when I move my frequency, this monitor here is going haywire, it's going crazy, it's like, oh crap, there's a whole bunch of things going on. And what's that saying is that channel EQ, adjusting that frequency, is this message. The two numbers in the middle are the numbers I want, okay? So I go to this transformer, and I click on this, and I click fix, click this, fader, this, fix, and then this, I'm going to change it to the number that I saw here in this monitor, okay? Then I'm going to click this fix. I'm going to change it to the other number that I saw in this monitor, okay? That's going to control this frequency. But now I want this frequency. And when I move this, now my monitor is going haywire again and it's saying 429. So I'm going to click this one, fix, fader, fix 4, fix 29, and I'm going to put this on reverse. And the reason I do that is because I want it to do the opposite of what the other frequency is doing, okay? Alright, keep that in mind because we're going to use it again. Now this one right here, this transformer, I'm going to control the wet echo. So when I move this wet echo, I'm getting a whole bunch of numbers here. 3 and 20 are my numbers. So I go fix, fader, fix 3, fix 20, and keep this at through. Okay? Now with the repeat, I'm going to move the repeat. I'm getting the number 3, 17. All right. So here, fix, fader, fix 3, fix 17 through. Okay? Close. Now, when the wet signal goes up, we want the dry signal to go down. Okay? The way to do that, click on this transformer, fix fader, fix 3, fix 19, because those are the two numbers that came up in the monitor, and then we want reverse. Click this, reverse, because we want to do the opposite of the wet and, dry, the wet and repeat. All right, that should do it. Now what we got to do 
is we got to go over to our arrange window and we're going to create a new instrument this instrument right here is already created and then you're going to control whoops, control click to make it look like that and it's going to say reassign track objects yes that's what we want going to go to our layer that we created I'm going to click instrument and that's going to give us this nifty little fader here, which we're going to end up being able to control with, with any of your MIDI inputs. You just have to make sure that you're not this track, but you have to be on this track in order to control it. If you know how to not do it that way, then let me know um, so that I can do it. All right. So now we're going to play it. Let's see what it sounds like. This is my little track. Yeah, we got it. All right. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. And if you just want to say what's up, let me know. I'm down for that too. All right. So that's it. Shout out to SF Logic Ninja. Shout out to Fabrizio GG, who's the one that I watched in order to do this. You guys should check it out too. It's pretty neat. All right. Ciao.